My name is Shauna and this is Kalani Yoga. Okay, great. So we're gonna actually start today in child's pose. So please come to the back of your mat, bring your big toes to touch and separate your knees as wide as what's comfortable for you. Allow your hips to rest on your heels and then reach your fingertips all the way forward and rest your forehead on your mat. Feel your spine relax as it lengthens. Allow your shoulders to melt away from your ears. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, open mouth, sigh everything out. All of the troubles of the day or the week or the month or the year, just try to let it all go. Take one more deeper inhale through the nose. See if you can invite even more air into your lungs. And exhale, force all of it out. Get all of that stale air from throughout the day out of those lungs so we can start fresh. Take your third deepest, biggest breath yet through the nose. Try to increase your capacity. Breathe in as much air as your lungs can possibly fit. Hold when you reach the top. Maybe take one more sip of air and exhale, release everything. Let it all go. Allow your spine to relax. Allow your arms to rest heavy on the mat. Allow your hips to reach just a little closer to your heels and know that it's totally fine if they are nowhere close to touching. This should be relaxing, comfortable, safe. And now seal your lips and continue to breathe for the rest of class in and out through your nose. Continue to take long, full inhales and completely cleansing exhales. Allow your focus to be on your breath, to try to reduce the distractions in your mind, trying to remove any lingering to-do list items for the day. Any of those chores will be waiting for us once we're done, but this time is dedicated just to you. Beautiful. Gently rock your forehead from ear to ear. Wonderful. On your next inhale, slowly come up to a tabletop position. Stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. Your knees are about hips width distance apart, perhaps more if that feels comfortable to you. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Create a really wide, large base with your fingers and press into your mat with your fingertips. If you have any wrist issues or tension in the wrist, carpal tunnel, tendonitis, by pressing into your fingertips, this will really help alleviate any of that additional uh, weight dumping into your wrists. Reach the crown of your head directly forward. So you're looking in front of your hands, a few, like six inches or so in front of your hands. Squeeze your belly button up towards your spine Roll your shoulders away from your back so you have a nice broad collarbone. Press into your mat with the tops of your feet and your shins. This will release any additional weight from your knees. Inhale, cow pose. Look up, point your tailbone up, roll your shoulders down your back. Exhale, cat pose. Round your spine, tuck your chin, 
push the mat straight down. Try to separate your vertebrae. Inhale, cow pose. Look up, maybe allow a deeper curve in the spine. Point your tailbone up. Exhale, cat pose, round the spine. Create a nice arc with your back. And continue to move at your breath's pace. Full inhales, cow pose. Full exhales, cat pose. Take the next few breaths to really customize your warm up. You can also add in neck rotations or ankle rotations. Or if you do have tension in the wrists, you can flip your fingers back towards you to open up the tops of your wrists. So I'm going to give you the next couple of breaths still here to play with how your body's feeling to customize your warm up. Beautiful. Maybe Create little circles with your spine, maybe shake your hips from side to side. I always encourage you to work with whatever your body is feeling today. Make sure you find balance on both sides. So whatever you did on the left, also do on the right. And once you've done all of your warm ups, go ahead and settle into your tabletop position. Fingers nice and wide, spine nice and strong. Squeeze that belly button in and up. Inhale, tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your knees, lift your hips. Create an upside down V with the body. Invite a bend in both of your knees because we're still warming up. Press your fingertips into the mat. Allow your torso to reach back towards your thighs. Lift your hips and then begin to melt your heels down toward the mat, lengthening the back of your legs. Take the next couple breaths to walk your dog. So press one heel down, bending the other knee, and then switch. Press the other heel down, bending the other knee. Repeat that once or twice more, really breathing into the backs of those calves and those knees, inviting lots of air and breath to those tight spots. Great job. Then settle into your downward facing dog. Relax your head and your neck. Allow it to hang as you gaze past your knees. Beautiful. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, walk your feet behind your wrists. Ragdoll pose. Keep your feet hips width distance apart or wider. Allow your torso to rest on your thighs. Allow your head and neck to hang heavy and keep a bend in your knees. You can keep your fingertips on the mat or if you want to increase that stretch along your spine, you can grab opposing elbows and this added weight will draw your spine a little longer. Option to hold here or you can sway from side to side, breathing into your side body. Beautiful. Release your fingertips down to the mat. Heel toe your feet together. So your big toes are just a sliver apart. Inhale as you slowly begin to roll yourself up to a standing. Head and neck are last to lift. Beautiful. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down. A couple more times there. Up back and down. Beautiful. Preparing for mountain pose. Root down through all four corners of both feet. So what I mean by the corners of your feet, you have one corner under your big toe, one corner under your little toe, and one corner on each side of your heel. Press down like you have roots in a tree into those four sections of your feet and then lift through everything else. Your arches, your calves, your kneecaps, and your thighs. Squeeze your glutes in and up. Squeeze your belly button back towards your midline. 
lengthen your tailbone so you're not creating a little curve in the spine. Really lengthen that straight down. Inhale, reach your fingertips up to the sky. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Create as much length as you can. Hold here, big breath in. Exhale, gentle back bend. Cactus your arms, lift with your chest. Maybe push your hips a little forward. Inhale, rise, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Push the hips back. Dive leading with your chest until you find a flat spine. Then create a little bend in your knees and continue to fold at the waist until your fingertips hit the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your palms to your shins. Roll your shoulders down your spine. Continue to squeeze that belly button up. Exhale, forward fold. Bring your forehead towards your shins and try to lift with your hips. Inhale, rise all the way to standing mountain pose. Arms come with us. Exhale, gentle back bend. Lift with the chest. Maybe push your hips a little forward. Beautiful. Inhale, rise to mountain. Exhale, forward fold, push the hips back, lead with the chest. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands down and step back to a tabletop position. So this is what we talk about when we say this class is for all levels and you get to choose your own adventure. I'm gonna give you two different options for our Chaturanga Dandasana, which is basically a yoga push-up series. Option one is tabletop. From tabletop, we'll inhale cow pose, just like we did at the beginning of class, and we'll exhale cat pose, rounding the spine. Option two, from tabletop, we'll step back to a high plank. So step your right foot back, step your left foot back, Squeeze your core in and up. Create a nice long straight line along your spine. Shoulders are in line with your heels. Inhale, exhale, push your shoulders forward. Bend your elbows to 90 degrees. Untuck your toes. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna do that again so we can review what those options look like. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, rise, mountain pose. Arms come with us. Exhale, gentle back bend. Lift with the chest, maybe push the hips forward. Inhale, rise, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long, strong spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back. Option one is tabletop. Option two is high plank. Inhale, option one is hold, tabletop. Option two, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog or cow pose, if that's the level you're choosing today. Exhale, downward facing dog or cat pose, if that's the level you're choosing today. Beautiful. Take a breath here and release. Inhale, reach your right leg high. Toes point straight down, heel point straight up. Lift through the back of your right thigh. Squeeze that right glute, hold here. Maybe lift the heel a little higher. Exhale, step your right foot in between your hands. Low lunge. Option to lower your left knee down or for a more active pose, keep it lifted. Plant your left hand down. Inhale, reach your right arm high. Low lunge twist. 
we're trying to stack our right shoulder over our left, but it's okay if it doesn't get there. If you need to put that left knee down, that's totally fine. Gaze down at your front hand, release your right hand down. If your left knee is down, go ahead and lift it up. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Stack your shoulders over your hips and reach your fingertips up. Now our back heel is still lifted. Our front knee is stacked over our front ankle. If you notice your front knee is going past your front ankle, go ahead and pull it back or walk your front foot forward. So just take a look down at your front knee. Beautiful. I know this is a tough one. Engage that left glute for stability. Inhale. Exhale, vertical twist to the right. Reach your left hand forward, right hand back, twist to the right. Squeeze that core in, lift through the crown of your head. Inhale, hold here, exhale. Inhale, come back to center, high crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Spin your back heel down, right arm reaches forward, left arm reaches back. So we have right knee forward, right hand forward, left arm reaching back. Engage both of those triceps, hold here. Press down through the pinky side toe of that left foot behind you. Beautiful. Inhale, reverse warrior. Lift your right arm high, left arm reaches down the back thigh. Breathe into those front right ribs. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach forward, lower the right arm down, left arm reaches high. Always an option to bend the right elbow and place it on your knee if you're feeling a little strained in the core area, but ideally you want a nice, long, straight torso. So try to prevent any curvature along that left side. Really squeeze in both sides of your torso to keep that straight. Beautiful. Inhale, look down and in front of you. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step back to high plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. You know you can take tabletop if you so choose. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful job. Take a breath. Whew, great. Inhale, left leg high. Toes point down, heel points straight up. Lift through the back of your left thigh. Squeeze that left glute, lift your heel a little higher. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Low lunge. Once again, if you need to put that right knee down, feel free. Plant your right hand into the mat. Inhale, low lunge twist, reach your left fingertips tall. Once again, we're working towards stacking the left shoulder over the right, but we may not be there today, and that's totally fine. Inhale, gaze down in front of you, lower your left hand down. If that right knee is lowered, go ahead and lift it up. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Move slow with control, squeeze that right glute for stability. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. Vertical twist to the left. So reach your right hand forward. Left arm reaches behind you. Squeeze the belly button in and up. Beautiful. Squeeze that right glute for stability. Inhale. Come back to center. Exhale, warrior two, spin that right foot down, arms come to a T. Now you can see my face, how's it going? So your left knee is still stacked over your left ankle. Once again, take a look at it. If, you're, if you can't see your left toes or your left ankle, 
Go ahead and walk your left foot a little forward. You always want your knee directly above or slightly behind that front ankle. Actively press into the right knife side edge of your back foot. Beautiful. Inhale, reverse warrior, lift your left arm high. Right arm reaches down the back thigh. Breathe into your left front ribs. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, reach forward. Lower your left arm down, right arm reaches high. So once again, squeeze that core tight, always the option to bend the left elbow, but try to remove any curvature along your torso there. Beautiful. Inhale, weight gaze down at your front foot. Release your hands down, step back, high plank, or tabletop. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, straighten the arms, or cow pose if that's your fancy. Exhale, downward facing dog, or cat pose if that's what you're feeling today. Beautiful, feeling really warmed up, I'll say. How about you guys? Great. All right, we're gonna do that same sequence one more time. We're gonna add on just a little bit and then we'll start to slow things down. Inhale, reach your right leg high. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Inhale, low lunge twist. Reach your right arm high, left arm plants down. Exhale, release your right hand to the mat. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Lift your shoulders, stack them over your hips. Exhale, vertical twist. Left arm reaches forward, right arm reaches back. Twisting, maybe look over your right shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, warrior two. Spin that back heel down. Arms come to a T. Inhale, reverse warrior. Right arm reaches high, left arm reaches low. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, reach forward, lower the right arm, lift the left arm high. Always the option to bend that right elbow and place it on your thigh. Long, strong spine. Inhale, look down and in front of you. Exhale, release your hands, hold. Walk your right hand to the inside of your right foot. Walk your right foot out and up on your mat. Lower your left knee down. Lizard lunge. So your hands are on the inside of your foot, not straddling your leg. Untuck those back toes if that feels okay. You're really going to feel this stretch along the front of your left hip flexor and maybe along the back of your right thigh. Now, if you want a bit of a deeper stretch, you always have the option to come down a little further to your elbows. I'm not quite there, so I stay up on my palms, but if that feels good to you, that's totally fine. Once again, don't push yourself, but go as deep as you feel comfortable without, without compromising your, your form. Beautiful. This is probably a great time to talk about having a yoga block. I know I don't really, I have some over there. I don't, I, I didn't really work them into the class today, but um, I'll definitely start working those in more. So if you guys have blocks, definitely try to bring them with you next time and we'll begin to use those a little more. All right, moving on. Go ahead and bring your right hand on the outside of your right foot. Walk your right foot over to the left side of your mat. Lower your right knee down and walk your foot closer to you for half pigeon. So everybody's knee is in a different spot here. Your knee is up by your right hand. Your right foot is close to you or you can walk it a little bit closer to your left hand if that feels okay. But I know for me, I feel more comfortable with my foot being a little closer to my body. 
Now, because we want to offer levels, if this does not feel comfortable for your right knee, I'm going to show you an alternative. If this feels comfortable, stay right here. If this does not feel comfortable, follow me. Just come over to your back, bend your left knee, place your right ankle on your left foot, and maybe lift your left foot closer to you. This is called figure four. It is a fabulous alternative from half pigeon if half pigeon is just not feeling good on your knee today. But if you're feeling the half pigeon, that's a little bit of a deeper stretch, which is why we're doing it. Beautiful. So if you're in figure four, go ahead and stay there. If you're in half pigeon, you have the option to come down to your elbows or stay up on your palms or come all the way down to your forehead. So find your level. We're going to hold this for just another breath or two. This is such a great hip opener. One of my faves. You guys can tell me after class how you like it. Awesome. All right, return your, your focus to your breath. If you're down on your elbows or forearms, come up to your palms, tuck your back toes, and slowly make your way to three-legged dog, right leg high. If you're in that figure four, go ahead and just meet us in downward facing dog. Bend that right knee, open up the right hip, maybe do some big knee circles to really wake up that right leg after you just sat on it for a minute. Beautiful. And then release your right foot down to the mat for a downward facing dog. Great job. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Got to balance out on the other side. Exhale, step your left foot through, low lunge. Inhale, low lunge twist. Plant your right hand down, left arm reaches high. Exhale, release your left hand to the mat. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Squeeze that right glute for stability. Exhale, vertical twist to the left. Right hand reaches forward, left arm reaches behind you. Maybe look over your left shoulder. Beautiful. Inhale, come back to center, high crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, spin the back heel down, arms come to a T. Find that beautiful stance we were in earlier, check the knee. Great job. Inhale, reverse warrior, left arm reaches high, breathe into those left ribs. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, reach forward, lower the left arm down, right arm reaches high. Always the option to bend that left elbow. Beautiful. Inhale, gaze down at your front foot, bring both hands down, low lunge. Walk your left foot out to the left side of your mat. Bring your left hand to the inside of your left foot lower the back knee down. Lizard lunge. So once again, we're gonna hold this for a few breaths. If you'd like a deeper stretch, you always have the option to come down to your forearms. I'm definitely not there on this side. And that's okay. Breathe into that space and along your front hip flexor. You might be feeling it along your back thigh if that's a tight area. As I said in the beginning of class, if you guys have any questions about any of these postures, or if you're just like, I don't know if I'm doing that right, feel free to let me know after class. We can talk about it. You can send me a picture of you doing it. I'm happy to help. Beautiful. And if you guys do have blocks or you know, if you want to use them in the future, they make a great custom level between palms and forearms. So we'll definitely use those in the future. Awesome.
All right, if you're on your forearms, go ahead and come back up to your palms. Bring your left hand to the outside of your left foot. Walk your left foot over to the right side of your mat and then lower your left knee down to the mat. And then once again, just adjust where that left foot goes. It might be a little closer to your body. It might be a little closer up to your right wrist. You shouldn't have any pain in your left knee by doing this. You should feel the stretch along your hip flexors. Beautiful. So full half pigeon is really sitting up like this. I feel like it's a little bit of a, of a challenge. So I usually like to keep my hands down on the mat. But if you really wanna go a little harder, go ahead and lift up your chest. Beautiful. As I said, in the last round, if this does not feel comfortable to you, I'll show you an alternative. So come over to your back, bend the right knee, place the left ankle on the right knee, figure four stretch, bring your hands maybe behind your thigh for a, a deeper stretch, and hold right here. That's a beautiful alternative to half pigeon if you're not feeling the half pigeon today. If you are feeling half pigeon, we're gonna hold here another breath or two. Always the option to come down to your forearms or your forehead. Your weight should be pretty much centered between your hips. So if you start to notice you're falling over to one side, go ahead and center yourself between your hips and adjust accordingly. If that means you have to come a little bit higher, then do so. And again, this is a really great opportunity if you do have blocks, you can always put those underneath your hands or underneath your forearms to create a little custom level. Beautiful job. All righty, let's go ahead and move on. So come up to your palms if you were down on your forearms, tuck your back toes, inhale, three-legged dog, lift your left leg high, bend the left knee, and open up the left hip. Maybe do some big knee circles to really open up that left hip after we just sat on it for a minute. And then release your left foot down to the mat. Downward facing dog. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step forward and have a seat. Beautiful, bring your legs out in front of you and lower all the way down to your back. Bring your knees up into your chest and give yourself a little hug and just rock from side to side. Feels so nice on the back. Great job. Inhale, happy baby. So widen your knees and bring the soles of your feet flat toward the ceiling. You can grab the backs of your knees or you can grab all the way up towards your feet, whichever feels more comfortable for you. The intention here is to keep your knees nice and wide and pull them down toward the outside of your ribs to deepen that stretch in your hips. You want to make sure your whole spine stays flat on the mat. So if you reach up to your feet and you notice your neck and your tailbone start to come up, then just go ahead and release a little lower on your knees and that'll give you the perfect stretch. But if you want to go deeper, you can, and you can maintain a flat spine, go ahead and grab the bottom of your feet and pull down. Once you're in happy baby, you have the option to rock from side to side if that feels good on your back. You also have the option to extend one leg at a time to stretch out your hamstrings. The great posture to hold for a few minutes so we can play around with it. Beautiful. Then bring your knees back into your chest for a little hug. Awesome. Extend your left leg long. Grab both hands around your right shin. Draw your right knee out and up towards your right shoulder. Hold here, inhale, wind removing pose. 
Exhale, supine twist. Guide your right knee across the body. Stack your right hip over your left. Reach your right arm out to the side and lower your right ear towards your right shoulder. Feel the gentle twist through the middle of the spine. And just as you, as you feel necessary, so this posture feels like a really gentle, comfortable twist. So if you feel like you're a little, a little crooked or diagonal, just center yourself out so you're in the middle of your mat. Beautiful. You can put your hand on top of your knee if you want to increase the, the twist as a little stretch or if it's a little too much, just come out of it a little bit. That's totally great too. Beautiful job. Inhale, come back to center. Bring both knees into your chest to realign the spine. Give yourself a little hug. Extend your right leg long. Grab both hands around your left shin. Draw your left knee out and up towards your left shoulder. Hold here, inhale, wind removing pose. Exhale, supine twist. Guide your left knee across the body. Stack your left hip over your right. Extend your left arm out to the side and lower your left ear towards your left shoulder. Once again, adjust so this feels comfortable and gentle. You should not feel any level of stress. Beautiful. Noticing that your heart's starting to slow down a little bit after the more rigorous activities from earlier in class. Beautiful. Inhale, come back to center. Bring both knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Actually, give yourself a super tight hug. Roll yourself into a tight little ball. Squeeze yourself as hard as you possibly can. Activate every muscle one last time. Inhale, squeeze. And exhale, release. Shavasana. Extend your arms and legs out long and wide. Relax your shoulders, roll them down away from your ears. Allow your toes to flop open. Take up as much space as you can. Keep your eyes closed. Take a big breath in through the nose. Fill your lungs max capacity. And exhale, sigh it out. Ah, give us an audible sigh. That feels good. And with your eyes closed, actively and visually release and relax each muscle group throughout the body. Relax your toes, your arches, your heels and your ankles. Relax your calves, your knees and your thighs. Allow your hips and glutes to sink into the mat. Feel your tummy soften as it gently rises and falls with each unforced breath. Relax your fingertips, your palms, your wrists, your forearms, your elbows, and your biceps. Relax your shoulders. Relax your whole spine. Relax your neck, your lips. Allow your tongue to fall from the roof of your mouth. Relax your cheekbones and your eyebrows. Enjoy perfect stillness, complete effortless.
Beautiful job. On your next inhale, gently wiggle your fingertips and your toes, beginning to wake up the body and your breath. Then slowly reach your arms up over your head for a wall-to-wall -wall stretch. Get long, get lean. Draw your knees up into your chest. Give yourself one last hug. Gently rock from side to side and fall over on your favorite side. Slowly push yourself up to a seat. Keep your eyes closed and cross your legs. Sit tall. Bring your palms together and press your thumbs into your chest. Allow your sit bones to root down as you expand the crown of your head toward the ceiling. Sit proud. Take a big breath in through your nose as you press your fingers into your chest. May we look internally for acceptance. Inhale, draw your thumbs to your lips. May we speak words of truth kindness, and encouragement. Inhale, draw your thumbs to your third eye center, your space of introspection and reflection. May we be the change we wish to see in this world. Take a big inhale to fill yourself with love and light, and exhale to share it with the world. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, like I said, if you have any questions or comments or feedback, I am super open to it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, feel free to come off mute if you guys wanna say hi or if you have any questions. Once again, um, this is the yoga flow class. I also have a yoga foundations class, which is a little bit slower, a little more instruction if you are newer to yoga. Um, and I'm working on some other classes too. So if you guys have a preference, let me know. I'd love to make a class with you in mind. <laughs>